I mean, we were in Vegas. Come on. <clears throat> Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Did I get all eight lunch boxes? Oh no. Hey mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. Oh, God. No. Oh, not. God. Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. <laughs> love it. I love seeing Sam in all these scenes. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. Years. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you I... write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I... It doesn't... It doesn't make sense. with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording?
I felt a strange pull toward the TV. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it... ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book! Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A a an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. <laughs> okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I uh, sad to say, I, uh, I've not written this. Uh, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> ah, well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but <laughs> it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah. That's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I this is so cool. <laughs> Best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. <gasps> Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to Oh, go oh yeah? To Alice. Cat, it turns out something's not right here. I don't have a flashlight.
What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Now is not the time, Alan. Now is not the time. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Oh, no! Oh, man, I love it. That's a control reference. Love that, dude. I really, really hope that they just lean in to the whole, like, control Alan Wake. Oh, gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Wait a second. Really? Hold on. The guy that plays Alan Wake plays that guy? Oh, I didn't even catch that. The voice. He's the... Is he the VA and just the voice? The VA is the face of Darling. Oh, okay, okay. Alan Wake's voice is Matthew Peretta. Okay, okay. So, so that he plays the voice actor we're, we're hearing right now. Okay, but physically they're two different people because this is like the finish Alan Wake, right? Yeah. Look, there's Sam. There's Alan at the top. Oh, there's uh, Sam in the top. It even says Sam Lake on it. Oh, I love it. They're not even trying to hide it. Hell yeah. The dude's just named Door. Yep. Janitor? Because why not? Why not Ati? Let's throw him in there, too. Yeah. Oh, wait, hey! wait, wait. I think I've been locked in. Oh. Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. One day. Were there numbers on these? Uh, they're holding up their hand a little bit. Ooh, looking good, Alan. Ah. Slow down there, Rockstar. Damn, those are expensive. something here a broken transmission i couldn't quite make out what was that a message oh, impossible to say oh man i thought i was going to be able to go back and look at it i guess not dude what is up with this reflection That's awesome. It was in ADHD mode. Welcome to my life, dude. It's not really a it's not really a mode, it's a state of being.
I hope they make an Alan Wake film TV show. Yo, I saw something on Twitter. Tell me if this is real. I don't know if this was just a Photoshop or is this real? Is it true they're making a Bioshock show? Is that real? They are. Huh. Interesting. Who told you? I just saw it all over Twitter. People were adding me and there was like a, a Netflix thing. Yeah. Man, I really hope it's good. I really hope it's good. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. in the room oh man waking up from the nightmare i felt like a drowning man gasping for air this place felt familiar a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days <coughs> excuse me a plot board for mapping out a story on the index cards the nightmare that just happened to me a summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. writer room was my safe haven with the story I wrote I projected myself out to look for a way to escape everything Dord said felt true was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else beware scratch read me Alice I had to write more is there anything else in here to look at yeah what happens if we try it? I couldn't leave. Surprise. This wasn't the way out. So does this game live up to mass, uh, of, to Alan Wake 1 and Control? So far, with flying colors. Absolutely. This has been a trip so far, dude. It's been great. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. Wait, this does that mean the out? Al hold on, hold on, hold on. Was my lifeline. So that probably means the Alan Wake that we found on the beach is not him at all, but is the projection he's talking about, and he may still be stuck in the room. I would start again at the talk show. So that means that the girl and everything we're doing is all part of the story. Oh, man. Is that because that's a memory? We don't, we don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. We'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen. 
the actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here, the best okay. writer of the books, the films are based on. Let's do this! Not doing that. We gotta do the TV again. Welcome back to the show. <clears throat> so, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's Love the it, problem, Alan? The because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. What a horrible situation this to put a writer city in. This was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. This is so Max Payne. I was Payne. watching the world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. <laughs> Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Wow! <gasps> okay. Uh, thank you, Anonymous. Just tip ten dollars to my team. I really appreciate it. I actually don't. Uh, I don't think I chose to put that on the store. I will look into that. Thank you. Yeah, City City Skylines too. I've heard that the performance is not great. Is it even playable on like mid range machines? I have yet to play it myself. How is that looking? Are they like working on it? Hopefully. It's capped at 30 FPS. Do not recommend playing. It's buggy. It's terrible. Oh, man. Wait, so it's buggy and poor performance? It's fine, but not on maximum. It's playable, but once you get bigger, it starts slowing down. Oh. The chat is very torn on this. Some people saying it's fine. Some people not. Uh, Kintab says no bugs, at least not for me. Okay. We'll have to look into it more. We'll have to look into it more. But yeah. City Skylines 2 is now the most eco way to warm up your house during winter. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but it needs work. The, the TLDR is, even under the right situations, it needs work. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, keep that in mind if you're, if you're wanting to pick it up. Apparently, it definitely needs some, some patch love. Hopefully, have the devs addressed it yet, out of curiosity? The worst part about City Skylines is that the whole commerce part is fabrication. It doesn't work at all. It's all smoke and mirrors. Yo, that's not good. Oh, man. Are you planning on playing City Skylines too? I was planning on playing it like right when I got back from TwitchCon, but I've, I'm hearing enough things about it to where it definitely sounds like I should wait until it's patched. Yeah. 
I'm not in a hurry to play it, so I may I may wait. I do I do very much want to play it eventually though. Five, six, five. Okay, maybe a new coat. I love City Skylines 1. I really, really enjoyed City Skylines 1. So I, I definitely want to eventually play 2. Yeah, Kritzia, yeah, we'll check it out eventually. I'll probably at least give it a patch or two. Again, I'm not in, I'm not in a rush. November's very slow for us. So... Yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the the tipper just... One of the reasons he tipped was he's because, like, you know, the game is at the top of your store. Code.tv slash game store. So, I'll see about maybe bumping that down a bit. And um, just be very aware there are some known issues you should look into before purchasing it. And thank you for the heads up on that, anonymous tipper. Skylines and Alan Wake are both from Finnish devs. I didn't know that. It's cool. Hopefully they'll get some fixes in fast. Alright, so last time we used this door, just got immediately attacked. I'm trying to think if there's Can we do anything else here? I think we just gotta do this, chat. Okay. Hello? Ati? That sounds like Ati. Always check your turlets. Who's Ati? Ati was a very important character in Control. Uh, we're going to be playing Control again to get ready for 2 in the future. Janitor's office. Hi. You're looking a bit dry. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> uh, Anime Winder. Okay. What's in the basement? What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egoni. <laughs> And a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. <laughs> 